remark or two, and then we'll start the press conference. Uh, questions to anyone at the podium here. Coach. Yeah, I'll share what I just got done telling the players in the locker room. I mean, it's had an unbelievable year. Everybody's really disappointed in the loss. You know, it ended too soon. San Diego State's a very good team when you get to the Sweet 16. You know, all the teams are good at this point. You know, they're tough, physical, veteran group. It's a huge accomplishment to get to the Sweet 16. Coach, appreciate it. Uh, questions for anyone? Start over here on the left side, second row. Hey. Hey, Coach. Uh, Joey Black, Alabama Central.com. Um, you guys came out after halftime with really good energy. You had that run, you know, jumped out ahead. I was just wondering, you know, what kind of happened after that? Yeah, I, I think we started a 17 6 run to put us up nine. And as soon as we got up nine, they went on a 12 0 run. Trammell had eight of those 12 points. Our defense on him wasn't good. We had some turnovers that, you know, fueled some. You know, we didn't score a point in transition this game. You know, they they had eight. I think they had some in that run. Just, you know, I thought we did a great job coming out of the half ready to play. And they're a really good group with some veteran players. I mean, they definitely got experience. And they got down nine and came out and turned it right around. So we got to give them a lot of credit. Let's go to the back row on the right, and then we'll come up to right, the second row. Right, NBC 13 in Birmingham. For Coach Oates and Brandon, uh, just overall this whole season, how would you guys summarize it in, in, in a few words? Just I know, Brandon, you talked about how close you got with your teammates through everything. Um, I mean, I think it was a pretty successful season. Uh, made it to Sweet 16. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest tournaments I've ever played in in my life. Uh, I think we really, really just came to have fun, really, and just compete at a high level. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll say it's one of the most memorable seasons ever. I mean, it's not easy to win the regular season, the SEC tournament the same year, make a Sweet 16 run. You know, it's a great group that really loves each other. I mean, they're going to be close for life, most of them. So, you know, I, I love the group. They love each other. And it's just really disappointing that it's ending early. But I think it's one of the most memorable seasons in Alabama history. And they, they can walk out of here with their heads up. Now we have right side, second row, and then we'll go to the third row. Uh, Mike Rodak with AL.com. For Brandon, you had mentioned earlier in the season this was a mission for you to, to win a national championship, and presumably that window is, is small for you at Alabama. Just what are your emotions, um, you know, knowing that the NBA is obviously on the horizon? Uh, it's definitely tough, you know, uh, just playing around these guys. I mean, working hard every day in practice. So, I mean, uh, to fall short, I think it's, you know, it's it's it's, it's not a, it's a bad feeling uh, now, but I feel like, our bond is too close to, you know, the break. So I feel like after this, we're probably just going to go and uh, make our bond even stronger. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to have somebody in, in someone's weddings and in the future. So, uh, I mean, it's just a bond that you can't break. Okay, third row. Uh, Billy Witz with the New York Times. Uh, Nate, the nature of the, this tournament is there. there's a lot of upsets, but the last three years, You've gone out to a team that's seated nine spots below you, five, and then and then four tonight. Is there something about your whether it's your system or the preparation or the game management that you think is lacking? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of really good programs uh, in the country that have lost. I mean, it could go down the list of them that. It's what makes the NCAA tournament the NCAA tournament. I mean, they're all good teams. And, you know, I mean, we were going to lose to a team seated lower than us unless we won the national championship this year. We were the number one overall seed. So, you know, last year we had an injury that nobody expected when JQ blew his uh, knee out. Not that that's an excuse. Notre Dame played well. The year before that, we went 12 at 25 at the free throw line. It goes to overtime. You shoot 60% instead of less than 50, you probably win that game. This year we're three at 27 from three. And I know we, you know, we take a lot of threes, but you know, the system worked for the entire year. It's, uh, you know, we just, it's one of those deals where 
I'm going to go back to the drawing board, see what I can get better at. We're going to try to recruit really good players. And we're gonna... a, lot, a lot of programs would love to be in the NCAA tournament three straight years. A lot of them would love to have won the SEC regular season tournament twice in the last three years. We're doing pretty good things at Alabama, and we're going to continue to get better. Front row, left side, I believe. Uh, Nate, James Benedetto with Tide Illustrated. Just, it was a physical game tonight with San Diego State really trying to impose their will, uh, especially in that full court press. Just what wasn't working in trying to break that press? You know what? I don't know if the press caused as many problems. You know, we had 14 turnovers. I'd have to go back and see how many were actually against the press, but their physicality definitely bothered us in the half court for sure. You know, they kind of got us off our drives. You know, Mensa ends up with five blocks. You know, they had eight blocks on the game. We needed to do a little bit better job being able to make better rim decisions. But, yeah, and they're tough, physical, big, strong, experienced team. And we, you know, especially in the first half, we we, just, we didn't come out repairing it. That's, you know, somewhat on us and somewhat the players have to get comfortable with the way they play. We've – had that happen before, but I thought they did a great job in the second half, and then our defense just wasn't quite good enough and to overcome the poor shooting night. Third row on the left side. Uh, Mark Ziegler, San Diego Union Tribune. For all three players, similar question. What did San Diego State do to you guys? I mean, you, you, you've you played very well all season. You're three of 27. You're three of 19, maybe, Brandon. I mean, what, what were they doing defensively? that maybe you guys hadn't seen or better than other teams had done? Uh, I, think, I think we we came in this game prepared uh, as much as we can possibly. Uh, I think our shot making, it could have um, been better. Uh, our shot uh, uh, shot choices could have been better. Um, but, I mean, it's just that San Diego is a good group of guys. Uh, they're, they're vets, so they have a lot of experience. Um, Feel like they came out and played hard, so um, that's just that's what it is. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree with Brendan. Um, yeah, just picking back off what Brandon said. I mean, um, uh, you know, we didn't make shots. You know, they they made some tough shots, and you know, um, that's that's just how basketball goes. You know, you win some, you lose some. Time for one more question. Um, kind of building off that, Brandon, it's clear that your passing can fire you up, get, bring some energy. How did they make it tough on you to facilitate tonight? Um, like I've said, I mean, we prepared as, as, as much as possible as we can come in this game. Uh, there's nothing we haven't seen, um, you know, building up to this game, uh, just going back off to our whole season. I mean, we, we've seen switch defense, um, traps, uh, anything that's been thrown at us. Um, I feel like just my passing of the passing ability, I feel like it just it just comes natural and just builds my team and, and myself up to uh, give the energy that we need. Okay, guys, thanks for your time tonight and this week. Appreciate Thank you. you.